Hello, and welcome to a very cinematic q and <laughs> It's very different from the normal camera setup that you're used to. My living room has some really nice daylight coming in right now. Ooh, natural lighting. Uh, my good friends over at Hyper RPG, they have a Red Epic Mysterium X, uh, which is a crazy camera. It's like a cinema grade camera, like tons of movies have been shot on this camera. Uh, and they let me borrow it for a bit. So I thought, hey, what better use than to uh, make a YouTube Q&A, uh, it'd be great. I don't have a ton of time because the files are huge on this camera, but uh, we're gonna do our best to get a sweet little Q&A in here. And I haven't just done a normal Q&A in a while. Also, apologies for the echo. Um, but it looks nice in here. It looks nice, right? I don't know. Anyway, I just went on YouTube into the community tab um, and uh, asked you guys to ask me some questions. So let's get rolling, shall we? What is a song that you've been enjoying a lot lately? You're awesome and we all love you. Hey, thanks so much. I've really been enjoying a song recently called F It Up by Lewis Cole. Mika showed it to me and it's such a fucking bop. There's so many drums in it and there's a full band and they they recorded it all inside this dude's house. Look it up if you want, it's really cool. They have a really cool music video on YouTube. It's just F it up. Uh, it's really cool. I really enjoy it a lot. Uh, it's, it's, a, oh, it's a good bop. It just really gets you grooving, you know? It gets you moving, it gets you grooving. Also, hopefully, because everything is pretty much manual on this camera, hopefully everything is in focus because I don't have anybody else here. Uh, so I'm just kind of guessing right now. It looks like it's in focus, but also I can't see the monitor super well, but it's fine, I'm sure. Also, I got new glasses coming recently. Coming recently? <laughs> They're coming soon, but I got new glasses and I'm very excited about them. I also got prescription sunglasses, which I've heard are about to change my life. So boring facts about Ethan that are happening now. There you go, thank you. How did you and Mark come up with the idea for Unis Anus? Um, so, pretty much what happened was the idea behind deleting the channel after a year, that was totally Mark's idea. But I went to Mark because I was thinking of making a separate channel um, just to post weekly stuff. And I still might do that later on, but just weekly things where I post once a week and it's kind of whatever I want. Um, it could be like an ASMR cooking kind of thing, which I want to do another one of those soon. Could be something like that. It could be me doing some weird craft thing. It could be me literally doing whatever I want. And so I went to Mark and I was like, hey, I've been thinking about making a new channel. Like I just kind of, I feel like doing gaming content has just gotten a little bit stale. Like I still like doing it, but I've been thinking about making a new channel just for once a week posting whatever content. And he was like, I've been sort of thinking about doing that too, but I've been thinking about the idea of making a channel and then deleting it after a year. And I was like, I fucking love it. And so at a Buffalo Wild Wings, the idea for Unis Honest came to be, uh, and that's pretty much how it started. We were like, okay, well, we couldn't do this just one of us, let's split it up between the two of us. Will you make more music covers soon? I love your voice. Hey, thanks so much. Uh, yeah, I've been thinking about doing that recently, actually. I wanna try and film a little thing. Uh, there's a song called Mc... called McFly. It's by McFly, it's called All About You, and that's Spencer's song, uh, because it's all about Spencer. So I've been thinking about, actually with this camera, I might go out and do that today or tomorrow, is filming a bunch of just like shots of Spencer and then doing a cover of that song. Because whenever I hear that song, it reminds me of Spencer. That's Spencer's song. Will you ever play Untitled Goose Game? I already did. It's on the channel. Pay attention. <laughs> did or do you suffer from depression? Not as bad as most people do. Like I've had a lot of like depressive episodes where I get into a really big slump. I am currently on antidepressants. Uh, I went, I've been, I had been going to therapy for almost, uh, or for over a year. Uh, and then I went to a psychiatrist um, because I have really bad ADD and ADHD. And so I was trying to get new medication for ADD. Um, but then after talking to her, she was like, actually some of the stuff that you're talking about um, might help if you try antidepressants. And so I was like, okay, yeah, I could try that. Cause I was having a, a lot of trouble with anxiety. Um, and so uh, she recommended some medication that will help with depression and anxiety because I was having a lot of issues, a lot, a lot of issues with anxiety. Um, and since going on that, uh, things have been a lot better. Like I really see a huge difference. Speaking of which, I forgot to take my meds, so I should go do that. <laughs> Have you taken your meds today? Just a reminder, take your medication, it's good. But going on that and figuring out what worked for me, 
uh, was really, really important. So if you're thinking about doing that, talk to your doctor. Um, and you know, I'm sure that they'll say this to you, but start on the lowest dose and work up from there. How old is Spencer? Spencer will be two years old on April 3rd. So April 3rd is coming up. So I expect to see my Twitter and Instagram flooded with comments and art of Spencer for his birthday. So April 3rd, mark it down in your calendars. Very important day. Do you think you'll be able to film with Mark normally after Unisonis is deleted? Love you. Hey, love you too, Mad Storm. But yeah, no, absolutely. It'll be different because it won't be <laughs> Zactic, probably. Uh, but yeah, absolutely. I'm sure that when Unisonis is done, we'll still do stuff together. I'm touching my hair way more than usual in this video, which is saying a lot because I'm constantly touching my hair. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Everything's cool. Do you ever miss your life from before you were famous? Ugh. I don't think that I'm famous. I think that I'm a relatively well-known person in a small community on the internet. I guess I, I'm in the public eye, I guess. Um, but I don't like using the word famous or like the word celebrity for sure. I hate that. Um, but I, I get what you mean. I wouldn't say that I'm famous, but yes, I am a semi well-known person on YouTube. Do I miss my life before that? I mean, there's certain parts of like being a person that is known that is that is kind of annoying sometimes. Like uh, there, there have been some times that I've been like noticed out in public where I am really not feeling good and I really don't want to because, and I hope that you don't take this the wrong way because if you see me out in public, please, 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 please come up to me. I love meeting you guys. And if you see me, uh, like I hate getting tweets that are like, oh, I saw you, but I was too nervous to come up. Please, please come up. But there have been a few times where, you know, for you guys, like you know me because of because of my videos, but now there's so many people on the channel that I can't keep up with who everybody is, unfortunately, um, which is, you know, a blessing and a curse because there's more people on the channel. It's great, but I also don't know all of you. And so essentially sometimes it's like a stranger sort of coming up to me. Um, and so sometimes, there have been a few times where I really don't want to be talked to. <laughs> this sounds weird because I want to meet you guys and if you see me out in public, please come up. But there have been a couple times where I'm like, I really am not in the mood right now to be stopped and talk to uh, essentially a stranger. I know that this seems kind of harsh, but I hope that you get what you what I mean. Because there are some days where I'm having like a really bad day and I just don't want to be talked to by anybody. <laughs> um, but that that's probably the worst part of it. Um, at conventions and stuff, um, I mean, it comes with the territory, I guess, but I wish that I could just like walk around and see a convention and I can't really do that as much anymore. It was way worse when I had blue hair because it was just a beacon. Other than that, there aren't really a whole lot of negatives. Like sometimes people get a little invasive. Nobody's figured out where I live yet, which is good. Um, only a couple of people have figured out my phone number, which is good. When it gets to that point, which I don't know if it ever will, but if it gets to that point where like people are showing up at my house or something, that'll be a problem. If you find out where I live, don't fucking come to my house. <laughs> Did you do theater stuff when you went to CHS? If so, are there any one act uh, or musical pictures on the wall? I'm a freshman there now. Yeah, so this person went to my high school or is going, they're a freshman there now. I am going. They are going to where I went to high school. Uh, yeah, I was in the dishwasher. I filmed, well, I was supposed to be in the dishwasher, uh, but then I had some scheduling stuff go on. So I filmed all of it, but I am in those, uh, am I in those? I think I am because I filmed all of it. Am I? Maybe I'm not. I'm definitely in some of them on the wall of the things that were done. I'm in some of those pictures. I'm also in like the speech and debate pictures on, uh, on the wall there. Yeah. Do you think crabs think fish can fly? <laughs> I've never thought of that before. Wow, a crab just, wow, I wish I, wish I could fly like a fish. <laughs> How has your 2020 gone so far? How do you want it to go? It's gotten pretty good so far. I've just been a mess recently, honestly. I've been having so much fun doing Unis Honest. It is so much fun and it's a ton of work, but I feel like my channel has really kind of gone down the drain a little bit because it's not, number one priority right now. And so I really wanna get back on a good schedule. Um, I feel really bad about it because I've just kept talking about getting back on a good schedule. It'll happen when it happens. My, my New Year's resolution is talk more, do less. Like I wanna talk less about doing stuff and actually do stuff. So 
I'm not gonna talk about this anymore because I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do it. How did having therapy affect different parts of your life? This is a really good question. Um, I definitely got to know myself more because when I first went to therapy, and I think therapy is something that anybody and everybody can benefit from. Uh, whether or not you think that you have issues that you really need to flesh out because when I first went I didn't really think that I had a lot of issues that I needed to work out But through going through therapy, I realized oh, there's a lot like digging deeper into me I was like, whoa, there's a lot more to unpack here than I first thought uh, But it's helped me sort of like rationalize a lot of stuff It's helped me a lot with my anxiety where I can now whereas before I didn't really have the tools to cope with my anxiety uh, I can now be like, okay, like if I think that like, oh, people here don't like me or blah, 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 blah. It's like, hey, your brain is just telling you that. Relax. It's fine. It's cool. Um, I also like dealing with other people has gotten better for me. I think I have feel like I've been able to like actually talk to people how I feel a little bit more without the fear of like confrontation and fear of like them taking things the wrong way. I still have a big problem with it, but it's gotten a lot better. Um, but also when having those conversations, I feel like I've gotten better about making it more this thing affects me rather than saying you did this thing. We're really diving into <laughs> deep to different stuff here. But yeah, a lot of like I statements, like I feel this way about this thing instead of you did this and sort of like, unintentionally blaming it on the other person. This Q&A is going a lot differently than I thought it was, but yeah, that's something. When was the last time you saw a bird? What bird was it? Where were you when you saw the bird? What age was the bird? What color was the bird? What was the bird's name? Last time I saw a bird. You know, I had a dream last night about a bird, a hummingbird. Mm -hmm. It was a hummingbird. It was in, it was in, it was in my house. And I reached out my hand for the hummingbird and the, the hummingbird landed on my hand. What color was the hummingbird? The hummingbird was blue, which is not a normal color for a hummingbird to have. It was a younger bird. I couldn't particularly place the age exactly, but a younger bird from for sure. He had a little bit of pep in his step and a little bit of ignorance in his brain because he didn't know fully about the world yet. You know, making, you know, innocent mistakes because he doesn't know any better. You know, the bird's name. I didn't catch his name or her name. I didn't, I didn't even, I didn't know anything about the bird, you know? I got a sense that, that the bird may have been a boy, but, uh, but I don't, I don't know, you know? Me and the bird didn't get that deep. Um, you know, the bird landed on my hand and I said, hello bird, how are you? And the bird said nothing and flew away. That was the last time I saw a bird and it wasn't even real. <laughs> you have legs, right? <coughs> Boy, do I! Look at these gams. Hey! Yep, I do. What do you consider is the best moment on YouTube for you? That's a tough one because hitting a million was a really, really big deal. The number, a million is cool, yeah. But the, the and people have clipped this a lot, but when I reacted to hitting a million, I kept saying, I did it and crying. <laughs> but it's because like, I've had a lot of people in my life, including myself, doubt me and be like, you're not gonna do that or you should stop doing what you're doing. It's a waste of time, like go off to, college or get a real job or whatever and I was like no I really want to do this thing this is the thing that I love to do and I'm gonna make it work and so me being like I did it was like yeah I hit a million but like also I proved all those people wrong and I proved myself wrong when I doubted myself like I I did the thing guys I, I did it so that was cool but also going on tour was incredible and so amazing and I really miss it I I would love to go on tour again um, I would love to do a, a, a Crank Gameplays tour. I have no idea what it would be, um, but I would love to do that because I really love being on stage and I love the live environment and like interacting with you guys right there is really cool. So I'd love to do that. We'll see what happens. Is there anything challenging about your job that the average person wouldn't ever think about? Also, how is Spencer? Spencer, come here. Come here, Papa. <laughs> come here. Come here, bud. Can I have a kiss? Spencer, can I have a kiss? Oh, that got him over here. Come here, mister. Oh, can I have a kiss? Oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Spencer's good. He's right here. He's a good boy. He's the best boy in the world. Do you want a strawberry? 
Oh, there you go. <laughs> I really use that as a reason to get Spencer down here. Um, what's the most challenging thing? Uh, they say that when you do what you love for your job, you'll never work a day in your life. That's not true. And I saw a great quote the other day that describes it perfectly. When you do what you love for your job, you're kind of always working, <laughs> which is very true. And that's what I'll say about that. Ivan, you're the cutest guy in the whole world. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. That's a nice strawberry you have right there. Who made your logo? By the way, love your videos. Thank you. My dad made my logo. My dad's a graphic designer slash animator slash all around great guy. Yeah, he made my, my, uh, my logo. And also my, um, my old intro for those of you who remember when I had an intro. Anyway. The camera is about to run out of space, so I'm gonna sort of stop it here because uh, I don't want everything to be lost because the files are very big and it's about to be done. So that's that. Hope you guys like this very cinematic <laughs> Q&A. Uh, this is fun to do. I, I miss just sitting here and talking to you guys. I hope that you guys are doing really good. I uh, thank you guys so much for, for hanging in there. I know that uh, I'm not even gonna apologize. You guys know the deal. <laughs> But thank you. I appreciate all of you guys so much. You guys are wonderful. Um, I did my first members stream the other day, which was really, really fun. I'm going to be doing more of those. Um, so if any of you guys are thinking about becoming a member, I'm... Oh, Spencer, you almost knocked over that thing. I'm going to be doing more of those soon, which is sweet. Also, I don't have it with me. Spencer merch is available right now. Crankcapeboys.com. Please go and get it. Support that little boy. All the proceeds go to getting him new toys. <laughs> but there's a really cute Spencer shirt. Oh, wow. He's really wilding out right now. There's a really cute new Spencer shirt that's available right now if you want to go and get it. And new stuff will be coming soon. There's stuff in the works that's great. So thank you guys so much for hanging out. I love you all. I appreciate you a lot. Spencer, do you have anything else to say? Spencer, say hi. Say hi, I love you. Say I love you. Thanks for watching the video. I love you. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs>